Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to work with sound in our Godot projects. Now, fortunately, Godot makes it really easy to work with sound. So the first thing that you are going to need to do is come to a website like freesound.org and actually get some sound effects files. So let me just show you here. I could search on, let's say I want a zap sound. So you can see here there are, let me just turn my volume down. There are all kinds of zap files available. You can see how long they are. You can see their waveform. Some of them are one second or so. So let's, let's try this one if I click here. Here's another one. Here's another one. So if you create an account, you can log in and download these files. Now, importantly, there are only two file types that Godot supports. You need to have WAV files or OGG files. Those are the two types that Godot support. For this tutorial, I've already downloaded a couple of files. I've got one here called Jump. And let me just play this for you. It's a very soft kind of jump file and then I kind of have this background uh, beat music. So let's open up our Godot project and the first thing that I want to do is import these into Godot. So I'm going to grab them and drop them into our resources folder. Godot will think about it for a minute and import those assets. Excellent. And I might consider putting these in a sound folder, but we're just working quickly here. You could see my project's very basic. I have a background, some title text, and a play button. And if I look at my code, there's no code in here. The play button doesn't do anything. So what I want to do is actually make it so that the play button does something when I click it. Specifically, I want it to play a sound. So what I'm going to do is come over to the node panel and with that button selected, I'm going to add a press signal. I'm going to make sure main is selected and I'm going to click connect. And now I have this function that says on play button pressed. Excellent. Now, one of the things that we need in order to play sound in Godot is a audio stream player node. And so we want to add that to our project. So I'm going to come over to main and I'm going to add a child node. And if I search on audio, it's the first thing that comes up, audio stream player. Now, there are other types. There's player 3D, player 2D. We don't need those. We just need the generic audio stream player. So I'm going to select that and click create. And you can see here it's over in my scene tree. So now what I want to do in my code is communicate with that audio stream player. And the way I do that is just like communicating with any other node. I can begin to type and the code hinting will help me communicate with it. And the first thing that I have to do is tell the audio stream player what sound I want it to stream. What, what's the source of the sound that it needs to stream? And we do that by actually loading the stream. And for this, I want to load the, the very short jumping sound. So I'm going to drag and drop that out and tell Godot to load that jumping sound as a stream. And now what I want to do is actually tell Godot after it's loaded, that file stream is actually to play it. And I simply do that by calling the play method. And I can save my code now. And if I run it, I should be able to hear that wave sound play. And sure enough, it plays beautifully, nothing to it. Now let's do something a little bit fancier and actually play multiple sounds at once. So when Godot loads, I want to play some background music. Now, if I want to play multiple sounds at once, in this example, that means the background music and the button sound, I am going to need two audio stream players. So let's go ahead and add another audio stream. By default, you can see here that Godot has called it Audio Stream Player 2. I could name this to anything. I might call it Background Stream Player or something meaningful to me as the programmer. But for now, let's just keep it simple. And I'll say dollar sign Audio Stream Player 2. And of course, I have to set the stream and tell it what to load. And I'm going to have it load this backbeat sound file that I have created. And by default, we'll just play it. So we'll say play and let's see what happens. 
Excellent. So right away, as soon as our ready function fires, it loads up uh, that stream, the backbeat stream, and begins to play it. Now, I notice the volume of the audio stream player two is a little bit too loud. So how can I fix that? Well, just like other nodes, audio stream players have properties that we can adjust. So I can click on audio stream player two, come over to the inspector panel, and you can see here it has a volume decibel level. So I'm going to bring this down quite a bit. Uh, if I go to 12 minus 12, that's cutting the volume in half twice. <clears throat> so let's save that and run it. Good. Now I have a softer background, and if I click the button, I can hear my button sound clicking. Good. Now let's learn how to actually pause and play music. And in order to do that, if we come over, we're going, we have a play button. And let's add a, another button. And it's here. I'm going to rename this just so we can keep it straight. And let's call it pause button. And I'll move it up next to this other button. And with pause button selected, don't need to be too detailed here. Let's just label this pause. Great. And let's add a signal to this. So I'm going to come over, press, make sure main is selected. Boom. Now I have two functions, one for on play button pressed and one for on pause button pressed. So the next thing to do, I even though I've loaded the player two stream, I actually don't want it to play by default. So even though I've set it to play, I am going to say stream paused equals true, just like that. Now what I can do that, so if I run this code, I have, I can hear my button clicking, but no music is playing because I, I set the stream to pause. Now, when the user actually clicks the play button, I want to set the stream paused value to be equal to false because I don't want it to be false anymore. And then of course, for the pause button, I want to hear the button sound effect. So I'm going to play that sound again, but I am going to pause the background music. So let's see this in action. I'm going to hit play. And if I hit pause, hit play, hit pause, hit play. There you go. And that's an example of how easy it is to work with audio in Godot.